Welcome back to Natalby Reefing and we have just fed the tank. So everyone's swimming around trying to catch some food. Most of it's been caught and there's been a couple of changes in the tank. We can see a few frags that I've cut at the back there. We've got that purple postulopora. We've got a tiny little nub of that wild caught colony and we've got a piece of the bird of paradise which broke off. I just thought, you know what? Let's give it a crack. I've never done this before, so let's just try. Anyway, so those are done. But what I spent most of today doing is uh, rearranging the sump. Now, oh, and I don't know if I've done a video on this, I can't remember, but there is a purple fire fish and his name is Flush. Flush is um, basically a poo producer. Uh, he's a kind of cute fish and his job is to cruise around in the tank and dump. We also got a, I think that's called a conch snail. His job is to kind of cruise around on the floor and try to clean up some of this green stuff that's collecting on the bare bottom. The other cool thing happening on the bare bottom is just a whole bunch of coralline is starting to develop everywhere. That back corner is nearly completely covered, which is quite cool. Uh, so let me quickly go and put the lights on because you can't see in the sump without the light. And um, then we will have a look and show you what we've done now. I was having issues in this tank with temperature. I kept thinking, oh, the heat is broken, the heat is broken. Why is it not, uh, why is the temperature so hot? So I even went and bought a new heater. I thought the thermostat was broken. But I think what was happening was I just had too much equipment in the sump. I had the pump that was running to the Pax Bellum. I had the pump that was running the carbon reactor. I had the pump that was doing the skimmer and I had a pump that was doing uh, the return pump. Uh, so, and then obviously the heater. So there was just so much in there that I thought, I wish there was a way that I could make a manifold in this tank. Now a manifold is something I've wanted to put in for ages, but I've always been really, really nervous about hard plumbing and all those Bunnings red turny things. And I'm just not good at that sort of thing. So, uh, someone on Facebook gave me like a hint about, um, trying one of these splitter things from a place called fish street, some shop in China or whatever. So I thought I'd give it a go. Now this is what it looks like. It's not the fanciest way to do things. And I apologize in advance for all you neat freaks that are going to say, what are you doing? But anyway, this is it. So if we look here, we now have one pump, all right? We have the Vectra S1. And that Vectra S1 supplies up, up, up until that three-way split, right? So that three-way split is going from there back up to the main display. It's going from there around the back to the Pax Bellum, which then comes back in through there and dumps into this chamber, which has got all the biological media in. And this one, when I try to turn it off, because it's been so beautifully made in China, it leaks. So I thought I have to put something on it. So I put a little piece of tubing, which also goes into this uh, media container. So I've got basically uh, S1, to the display, some of it back into the bio media, some of it through to the keto reactor and back through. And now I only have a pump in the skimmer, which is off now because I've just fed the tank. I've got a pump in the torque reactor and a pump here. So I've lost the entire pump, which was taking up that whole space at the back there. And I'm assuming must have been generating heat. So this is my attempt at a manifold and i would suggest that it's not a bad idea for people to try it if you are wishing there was a way to have more than one thing supplied by one pump so this is just all the soft plumbing i mean that's the same stuff that came with the actual it's the exact same tubing that i got three years ago with this tank so i just cut it put that thing in the middle stuck a bit of coral glue there and a whole bunch of cable ties and like i said before in my videos if you can't fix it with the cable tie, it's broken, throw it away, buy a new one. Um, you can see a little bit of dripping coming off each of those, but it's dripping back into the tank and I think some salt creep will probably block that drip up in its own time anyway, so I'm not that fussed by it. So um, yeah, that's the work that I've done today. Uh, makeshift manifold, which is allowing us to do three things with one pump without having to hard plumb anything. So if you've watched to the end, thanks for watching. 
Uh, that's the tank. And uh, subscribe, thumbs up, like, high five. Uh, peace and love and all the rest of it. Um, yeah, cool. Thanks for watching. Peace.